reality is very, very important. Uh, I think it should be important to everybody. And I think the more that people become perhaps what they call spiritually aware or awake, they're starting to see through things and how things have been manipulated and the reality has been created for them. If God forbid everybody came and started demanding answers, and once they can't provide those answers, people realize they are busted. It can't be a mistake. It can't be anything but the deception and control mechanism it is. Because people are waking up. And no matter how much they try to suppress this flat earth movement, oh, it's going to keep moving one way or another. You can see it. People are waking up. So now, louder than ever, I can hear that clock. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. And if I'm Duke University, I'm absolutely putting out a statement that it says uh, we do not we do not condone this type of behavior and spewing these alternative facts and fake news. I mean, poor Jeremy Lin came out and was like, hey, listen, I went to Harvard and I know that the, the world is flat, LOL. And he's got to troll him, too, because this is ridiculous. This is so funny that he's even putting this out there. Uh, and I love that people have just completely jumped all over it. Patterns are here. We just have to see them. Loyal citizens, I stand before you truly humble on this 20th anniversary of Unification Day. We once again celebrate the fall of the unjust and corrupt governments of old. We honor the arrival of our saviors from the stars who ushered in two decades of peace and prosperity. And we rejoice in the total destruction of the insurgent organization known as Hexcom. Hexcom lives. <laughs>